Night travels easily on Assam's Brahmaputra River in the northeast of India. On a chilly winter night, fishermen are out for their catch. Huddling around a fire on their boat to keep warm as they continue a practice that is thousands of years old. Fishing, farming, travel and cultures, as humans have known, have grown along the waterways of our earth, reflecting the resonances of river worlds. These traditions, which demonstrated a symbiosis with nature, are under increasing threat, as are the species they protected. The rivers enrich our lives, Of the inhabitants of the rivers, one of the best known, most beloved, and most threatened are the river dolphins, smaller than their sea cousins, but equally friendly and vulnerable. Until recently, there were four species of river dolphins in the world. The Gangetic dolphins, which ranged across South Asia, the Baiji of the Yangtze Kiang in China, the amazing pink dolphin of the Amazon, and the De Plata, also of Latin America. Unlike the sea dolphins, all of the river species live in close proximity to humans in unprotected areas. Today there are three a scientific expedition in 2006 declared after months of research that the Baiji of China was extinct. Just over 250 Gangetic dolphins live in the rivers of Assam. Over millennia, dolphins have coexisted with human beings almost seeking out fishing communities, at other times guiding the fish to the nets and sharing the catch. Today its very friendliness poses one of the greatest threats to its own survival because of man's predatory instincts. Here in the river in Assam's Dubri district, a group of fishermen secretively chop a messy, foul-smelling concoction of goat intestines, which is heated and then mixed with a carefully measured portion of dolphin oil. Tell 
फिर भूले लेकिन लोग इसका बांध देता है पका को आगे में तेल लगा देता है भूरी में मछली आ जाता है The oil is then mixed with atta or wheat flour and goat fat and used as fish bait. This is the first time that the whole process has been caught on the camera and the men are quiet. Their demeanor suspicious. Despite an official ban on capture or killing of dolphins, the practice continues. It is a crude form of capture, killing and extraction. not for the faint hearted the changes are at times brutal and dramatic the fishermen from a community known as the bins wait for the dolphin oil to take effect and the fish to bite a particular species of catfish known locally as the neria rise to the bait in amazing numbers another major threat to the gangetic dolphin comes from fine mesh fishing nets where they get entangled and die it's fabled sonar system which enables them to sense objects at a distance does not work against these new killer nets the main threat for this species of dolphin is that uh, accidental killing i mean entangling in the gill net since they are blind and the sonar system is not much more developed in uh, sub adult and cubs therefore they are uh, very frequently entangled in the gill net and uh, next is that poaching for their oil which is used uh, as a fish bait as well as some medicinal purpose There are conflicting traditions here. One demonstrated by the bin, and others who hunt or catch the dolphin for its blubber, which they use for fish bait. But there is another tradition which lays stress on the dolphin as a friend and ally, helping fishermen with their catch. and sharing a part of it ami mas mari light sai soli asu ami he huru joyote he hoi mas ke di die ami hanu he huyo khai amio khau फर्स्ट मेजर पॉइंट and uh, since the depth is decreasing the water is spreading so the what the previous habitat which the dolphins had they had they have to move from there so the 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 it's a change in habitat structuring i could say just put it so that's one of the main reasons also secondly is that the lesser number of fish which is available at the moment
life is not easy here. Although livelihood activities remain rooted in the river, Men like Narendas say that the fish population has been depleted by overfishing as well as embankments, which has closed the natural flow of river. With the fall in fish population, traditional societies in the river banks are in crisis. Many continue to live by the river, but have been forced by a fall in the fish catch to make a transition from fishing to sand digging. This feeds the hunger of a growing city like Gohati and creating an alternative livelihood for local residents. Male laborers scar the riverbed for sand, transporting it on heavily laden dugouts Scientists say there is a positive aspect to the sand digging. It helps the dolphin habitat because the water is not turbid and the creatures are easily sighted. The wet sand is tossed into waiting trucks which thunder off to Guwahati, one of India's fastest growing urban centers and the commercial capital, not just of Assam, but of the entire Northeast. But overfishing is not helping the habitat. The fish are dispatched to busy markets in nearby cities. Man's insensitivity is on full show here, dumping garbage by and into the Brahmaputra, reflecting a lack of awareness of our dependency on the river. The Durga Puja celebration is in full swing, but there is no thought of care or a cleanup after the revelry has died down. The immersion of idols is traditional, but these days that tradition carries a harmful environmental tag. Heavy metals are used in idol paint. After the celebrations, the gods are forgotten, forsaken, causing extensive damage to the river and its ecosystem. The riverscape is vast, majestic, even in repose. মাস কুমার কান হইছে নেট জালগুলো মারতেছে নেট জালে এই ছোট বড় ডিমালা যেলা পোনা হইছে সেগুলো তুলে নিয়ে যেতেছে মারে যদি পাঁচ দিন তে ঘাটে না দুই তিন আর তিন তিন সব ধুয়া এই ছোট ছোট ডিম সব ফেলা যায় মাছগুলো মারা যেতেছে এখন ও জালও গরমিন বাদ দিতে পারে না আমরাও যদি there is no law abiding you know to the to
to the fishing season and the kinds of net which is used. So they have been using quite, you know, uh, very small mesh nets because of increase in fishermen and per capita fish capture as well. So that also has led to the excessive uh, fishing pressure in that particular And the main fishing zones, they are very remote from the main mainland. I mean, the, from the main towns or from the main human habitats. Therefore, the main, uh, we can implement this uh, fisheries laws very strictly if we can take the help from the local communities, if we uh, aware them and if we involve them directly into the conservation process. তখন নদীতে পানি খুব গম্ভীর ছিল বড় বড় শিশু ছিল কুমির ছিল এখন এগুলা কমার উদ্দেশ্যটা হলো নদী চাচরা হয়ে গেছে আর এই শেলো বডবডি এগুলার অত্যাচারে এই জিনিসগুলো আরো কমে গেছে But despite the pressures, there are still safe heavens where dolphins celebrate the joy of survival. Many of Assam's fishing communities, especially those who use dolphin oil as fish bait, live in enduring poverty with little or no access to clean drinking water. Health conditions are poor, education and income levels are very low. The only livelihood is fishing and even that is a deepening daily struggle. The use of dolphin oil is regarded as justified to survive. Others talk of capturing and killing the sishu or hihu, giving a vivid demonstration. <laughs> But they're reluctant to continue the traditions because of fear of tangling with the law and being fed up and being stereotyped as bad guys. <laughs> The poor people actually they are not very much aware about these things and definitely we'll have to launch a lot of uh, awareness programs amongst the local community, then fishermen community, the common people, then even our management authorities also in a lot of cases, uh, they may not be aware about this thing.
Human activities continue along the river banks. People fell trees almost recklessly for a living. The logs are transported. New areas are cleared for settlement for families and communities. Yet nearby, the dolphins appear, play and breed, friendly and close to the very threat to their future, human. এতিয়া মই আজি কেবছমান পৰা নাই ঠিক আইতি আকো হৈছে যদি আৰু পানী এবাৰ ডাঙৰ নল একান গাম ফলে কি হোৱা কেলে গুটে কনে কনে হিউ গা ভিতৰ ঘুমাই উজাই ন পৰে যেন খেদা খেদিকে জৰাত লাগি থাকিলে এটা মাৰিলে হৈ কোন মাৰিলে কি কৰিলে তেল পগালে কি কৰিলে মানুহ আজি গালে মাৰবোৰ মেছিকে আদায় হৈছে বিল খাল কৰ আছে বিহ দি দিয়ে বিহটো এই গভর্নমেন্টে উলাইছে এইবোৰ বস্তু হ বৈজ্ঞানিকে শুনি পাইছে আমাৰ নাম গুৰতে উলাই নাকি কেফা আৰু দিন কিবা কিবি নাম ধেই আছে বিহ আগে এইবোৰ বন্ধু মৰে পোক মৰে এইবোৰকে মাছক দি দিয়ে বটলকে বটল আনি গোটেই মাছখিনি ৰাতিয়ে ধৰিব পলাব মানুহ বাকিখিনি এসপ্তাহলৈকে গেলি থাকে বিলত যাব নোৱাৰে পথাৰত গুণ্ডত এনেকুৱা এনেকুৱা কাণ্ড ইমান অত্যাচাৰ মানুহৰ This angry old villager is outraged by the use of pesticides especially by the tea plantations of the river banks Pesticides developed by scientists and used by companies are poisons he says How can anything but ugly mutants grow out of the use of poison? Of course, he says, such oppression harms all living creatures, including humans and dolphins, and forces the latter to move away. This dolphin protection, uh, now basically for two reasons, one is ecology and the other is that um, accidental uh, or even poaching, accidental killing or poaching. So there the community is involved. Uh, for that matter, we will have to give, uh, uh, we will have to take uh, their uh, cooperation and um, uh, there also I said that awareness is the main issue and to s say that do not go for fishing, it is not the solution. So we will have to give them some alternative livelihood. Dolphin oil users are now in Upper Assam, far from the habitat near the Bangladesh border to encourage the use of the oil among local fishermen offering the bait to better catches and better incomes it's easy as this fisherman shows and graceful languid movements playing out a ballet on water waiting for the fish to bite and then flicking his victim into the boat in one elegant sweep
while seeking to improve conditions. Engineers and policy makers have made a mess. Part of this tributary of the Brahmaputra, once a vibrant resource that gave abundant fish and connected two rivers, enabled fish to spawn and dolphins and humans to coexist peacefully. An embankment, ostensibly to prevent floods, put an end to that. Assam is India's largest network of embankments, but they rarely stem the damage from floods. Are we so lacking in scientific knowledge in the 21st century? when humans can reach the stars and find healing for killer diseases. But one of the world's most beautiful and endangered species is to be killed for fish bait. The alternative exists, and it has been tried and tested. An Indian scientist has developed an effective alternative based on fish gut. With dissemination, this can become a tool to save the dolphin. The Baiji has gone forever. What nature protected for millions of years, man's greed has accomplished in a few decades. Let it not be said of our generation that we were too late and did not have the knowledge, will and skills to save the Gangetic Dolphin. <laughs>